Hi, I'm Shane. I'm Kelsey. And, and this that's is Dixie. Dixie. And uh, we're Love Hut for Life. We're in our 20th week of travel. And uh, we wanted uh, to bring this week to y'all and show y'all what it's been like. Uh, things have been a little weird here in the USA right now. Definitely so. Life as we know it is definitely changing up a little bit. And life for everyone out there watching us, I'm sure is changing just as much. So we thought we'd share this week on how it's affecting us. Yeah, and just kind of let you know how we're uh, holding up and what our plans are for the future. I think for the first time this week, we seriously considered that we might have to pack up and, I don't know, settle down somewhere. Um, but for now, we're, we're gonna keep traveling. So this is how this week went. We left you last week in Lake Havasu City, where Shane had a day shift to work at a local bar. It was a slow day, so that left us ample time to get to Needles, California to pick up a package that I have anxiously been waiting for. Needles was the closest location for an Amazon locker, but we probably should have checked that the package was there before we left. This was the first time our lives uh, were affected by the coronavirus, but we didn't even get at the time that's what it was. Amazon shipments were running late, but hey, we were in California where the flowers were blooming and uh, it's absolutely beautiful outside. So we found a good place to stay for the night. We woke up in the heart of the Mojave Desert to one of those amazing sunrises. And then we spent the day taking in the scenery and picking wildflowers. By the end of the afternoon, Kelsey made me aware that she had a surprise to show me that she's been working on while I've been at work and her stuck in the house. Next morning was just as incredible as the one before. These sunrises out here absolutely amaze me. I love waking up to them. Our surroundings were absolutely beautiful. Every time we opened our phones, we realized that the news coming out was far from. I decided to take advantage of all of the flat land that was surrounding us and do something that I hadn't done in a very long time. If you don't get the significance of why uh, this is so important, this is the most steps that I've taken since August of 2018. To me, these steps are more important than Neil Armstrong's. Most bars across the country and all of them in California were closed down at this point, but Shane's Bar just across the state line in Arizona hadn't quite made that decision yet. So we were headed back there to send him off to work again. Meanwhile, I dealt with the consequences of all those steps. Fewer than 20 people sitting in my bar all night long, I started to get worried. So we headed to a local Walmart after work to pick up some supplies while everyone else was at home asleep. At first, that looked like a pretty good idea. We found alcohol, 
but then no Dixie food, and then no people food. As we rounded the corner into the dairy aisle, it really sank in as to how serious the situation was. With the onslaught of CDC warnings, people have panicked and bought everything. And for the first time in my life, I walked into a superstore and there was nothing to purchase. It is really a haunting feeling walking through and seeing absolutely nothing. This was the first time in a really long time that we've actually been scared. We found ourselves in Havasu Heights and we spent another morning taking in some local sights and enjoying the scenery. We really wanted to just forget what we saw the night before and pretend that nothing was happening, but our phones didn't want us to. Scary news didn't stop Shane from picking me flowers, though. It also didn't stop Kelsey from taking advantage of the terrain around our camp to help rehab her foot. Being able to walk around and uh, see sights like this without the assistance of a crutch is uh, something that I've been looking forward to a really, really long time. More and more businesses shutting down. We weren't sure how long it was going to be before the laundromats closed. So we took advantage of them being open and washed every piece of cloth in our house as Kelsey disinfected the whole thing. was there this time and we got out of there just in time to find our next camping spot before the sunset. Both absolutely fascinated with all of the gorgeous flowers and plants that are blooming in the springtime. It's really something to take in. the sun went down it was time to put away our piles of clean laundry and open up that box that we've been driving around for all week long. I personally am really excited about this box. It is full of components for improvements on the Love Hut that you guys should be looking out for. As beautiful as that place was, the news coming in was making us really nervous about being in California. To wait on a break in the rain, but as soon as that came, we packed up and made our way back to Arizona. It rained on us most of the way there, but it did manage to dry up 
just enough for us to get our parking spot and check out our new backyard before the next wave of rain hit us. While huddled up in the rain, of course we were considering going home to our families, but it's a long ways no matter which family we're talking about. And when we thought about it, we have a whole lot of people in both places that we wouldn't want to risk bringing this virus to in case we contracted it ourselves. The news was getting worse, but all we could do was enjoy where we were at. In all honesty, in many ways, we've been rocking this social distancing thing for a lot longer than it's been recommended. For us, it's another beautiful day and our only neighbors is a bunch of donkeys. More storms were headed our way, but look what they brought us. The next morning, we were sure glad to not be in California. We're amongst society in any way, really. Unfortunately, we were running low on ice and we had to go into town, but I did my best and stopped at one store and got all I needed. Side of signs like this, which are pretty scary for us, life seemed pretty normal in Fort Mojave. That both comforted us and scared us at the same time. We're not sure what's going on, but we do know that we want to get out of society as far as we can. We accidentally went a little too far and found snow, so we decided to drop back down to elevation to a more tolerable climate. snow was absolutely beautiful but we are not set up for it so we scrambled to get out of there and uh, wound up finding a really cool spot at lower elevation all right so guys as you can see things are pretty crazy out there um but i think they are everywhere so all we can do is enjoy the beautiful scenery around us do our best to social distance even the cows are social distancing they won't come near us <laughs> they're right over there um but yeah just staying away from humans and uh staying uh, out with the wildlife seems to be our plan for now. We're gonna keep traveling as long as we can and uh, we'll keep you updated on how things are out there. Y'all be safe. Stay healthy. Peace out, guys.